optimality theory is a linguistic framework that explains how different sounds and structures in language are selected based on competing constraints. Instead of following fixed grammatical rules, languages operate by ranking constraints, which are rules that either encourage or prohibit certain linguistic patterns. The optimal form of a word or sentence is the one that best satisfies these constraints while violating the least important ones. This approach contrasts with earlier rule-based theories as it emphasises how languages balance conflicting pressures rather than following strict step-by-step -step transformations. Now, let's explore the origins of this theory. Optimality theory was introduced by linguists Alan Prince and Paul Smolensky in 1993 as a new way to understand phonology, the study of sounds in language. They developed the idea that linguistic structures are chosen based on ranked constraints rather than a set of sequential rules. Their work was influenced by earlier theories in generative grammar, but sought to explain why languages sometimes prefer less complex or more natural sounding forms. Over time, optimality theory expanded beyond phonology to other areas of linguistics, including syntax and morphology. Now let's look at some examples of how the theory is applied. One common example of optimality theory in action is how languages simplify complex sound patterns. For instance, in English, the word cats is pronounced with an S sound, while dogs is pronounced with a Z sound. According to optimality theory, this happens because of a constraint that prefers smooth transitions between sounds, and dogs follows this constraint better by using a voiced sound at the end. Another example is how different languages handle syllable structure. Some languages allow complex clusters of consonants, while others simplify them by inserting vowels or omitting certain sounds. These variations can be explained by different rankings of constraints in each language. Now let's look at some strengths of optimality theory. One of the key strengths of optimality theory is that it explains variation across languages while maintaining a universal framework. Instead of requiring different sets of rules for each language, the theory suggests that all languages follow the same constraints but rank them differently. This makes it easier to compare linguistic patterns across different languages. Another strength is that optimality theory accounts for exceptions and irregularities more naturally than rule-based approaches, as it allows some constraints to be violated in favour of more important ones. Additionally, the theory has been successfully applied to many areas of linguistics, showing its flexibility beyond phonology. Now let's consider some weaknesses of the theory. One major weakness of optimality theory is that it lacks clear explanations for why certain constraints exist and how they are ranked in different languages. While the theory describes how linguistic choices are made, it does not always explain why a particular ranking emerges in a given language. Another criticism is that the theory can sometimes be too abstract, making it difficult to apply to real-world linguistic data without extensive adjustments. Additionally, some linguists argue that optimality theory does not fully account for the role of historical change in shaping languages over time. Despite these challenges, optimality theory remains an influential framework in modern linguistics.